what is up, man? Bush is here, Bush is live today, quick on a hump day. I have to watch this Tysino video. So, big news, Tysino is coming back. A lot of stuff going on, and they kept telling me to kind of watch it. So I kind of want to watch it here. And yes, the kids are chilling, as always. Let's see this. I gotta watch this. Twitch, everything. And, um, there was a Alright, so, for the last four months, you guys know I've been absolutely gone from YouTube, Twitch, everything. And, um, there is a reason for that. I just want you guys to know that. And I'm about to explain all of that in this video. Now, for you guys to really understand what I'm talking about and just, just how much this means to me and everything, you guys got to understand where I came from. So, really quickly, basically four years ago, 2017, I was absolutely dead broke. I was like, I think I remember a day where it was about negative 1,500 in my bank account in 2017. Um, I was working at 8 to 5 that I absolutely hated. Now, how the hell did you have negative 1.5 in your bank account if you had an 8 to 5 job? Well... You guys gotta understand, I finished high school at 18 and I had no other choice except to get a job, okay? My mom couldn't afford university, she had to work two jobs because my dad didn't have to pay child support once I turned 18. Didn't have to make the payments and I mean, my mom was behind on rent, on bills, everything. And I was forced to work at that point basically because I couldn't go to uni, it would just be a hellhole with all the bills that were due. And I just worked and worked and worked and most of it was payday to payday because I couldn't buy anything else much, man. It was just payday to payday. And that ends up with your bank account going in overdraft and you get negative balances. Just in case you guys are wondering. It was kind of that sad environment where there were just so many people working that job who just seemed really sad and depressed. And it made me depressed, man. It was kind of, it was, it was bad, okay? 2017, where I was working, wasn't making me happy, okay? I was typing court cases and it was just a depressing environment. That's really all I so can say So he was like about. a paralegal. Now. He was a paralegal. Long story short. Court Every cases. day after work, I decided to push myself and I decided to say, okay, from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m., I'm going to work and grind and stream and learn how to edit and record videos. And I was inspired by guys like Pretty Boy Fredo, Alice K, Cash Nasty. Um, I actually used to watch Annoying back then, back in like 2K16. Uh, Nate XC, just the 2K guys. I used to play 2K all the time after school. I used to come home and I used to, use, I used to jam for hours after school. And I would always consider myself to be a very good 2K player, just like... I don't know. I played that game so much. I love that. Is facts. I mean, everyone knows Tysino's a freaking god. Like this dude is. You you can't say anything bad about Tysino. His game, and when he plays against people in the U.S. and he's <laughs> this motherfucker is dangerous. But what's up with the Louis Vuitton? Why you why you got? What's up, man? You gotta show the Louis Vuitton over here. Over there, you got the the Apple. You got the new iPhone over here. You got some nice watch here. Come on, man. What type of car is this? A BMW? Is that his convertible? Looking pretty good, man. Looking pretty good. Basketball, and I was just like, wow. I'm pretty good at this game, man. My record was good. Everything was good. And I was just like, you know, why not? Why not try? Why not just sit there and just start recording videos? And I said, fuck it. Started making tutorials for 2K17. They blow up, okay? Some of them get some good viewership. And then I move on and on and on. And all of a sudden, from tutorials, I go to versing other YouTubers. I go to America and I do that. That really puts me on the map. A lot of people find me from that. And then we move on to wages. And wages in 2K20, just... Oh! Wages in 2K20 <laughs> pushed that game to a limit that it never should have reached. Just based on what 2K20 was in the game, the community pushed that game and the viewership and the content to new heights. That game had no business getting millions of viewers. I'm going to just say that. That game had no <laughs> business getting millions of viewers, but thanks to the community, thanks to all the creators, that game did pull so many viewers. We were taking over Twitch, we were doing great on YouTube, and it was fantastic to see. So now, it was those wages in 2K20 where it's my so life facts. really started going fucking nuts. I'm going to just say that, okay? The money was flying in, going from a dude who just had nothing to, that, to oh, literally everything pretty much. Um, I got my mom a new car. I got myself a new car. Um, I bought things I wanted to buy. And I was making a lot of money doing wages. Lockdown, no lie, it helped a lot because everyone was at home and my viewership just jumped from like 2,000 viewers a wager. Like it, it, it jumped to like That's 20, facts. 30, 000, 40, 000 in some of the big wages. That was insane. Uh, shout out to Aiden and Bonnie. That that whole show that we set up was really big for me, and obviously it was for Aiden and everyone involved in that. Um, 
There Facts. was so much big stuff that happened in 2K20. It was just changing my life like that. I'm serious. It was just bang and my life was just crazy, okay? It was mad. Um, and then... Considering that this dude came from where he came from and, and he did and then he grinded and he... That's why, like, Ticino's a legend. Like, there's no way... He's automatically a 2K legend, bro. If anything, in just streaming, like, stream guys, like... His content, which have substance compared to dudes that just say random gay stuff, it is what it is. Ticino put that shit out there, he, and he just fucking killed it, man. He just really killed it. So you gotta be really happy with this dude, and and from the news, supposedly in the rest of the video, it's it's really fucking positive. So even though I have a dad view, but that's a dad view. Then, and then. Uh, 2K21 comes out. Let's be real now. Who who here actually is going to tell me and sit in my, sit in front of my face and say 2K21 is a great game? Let's be real. Game is not good. In it's possible. It's a game that you can play, but it's not a game that you love or that you really want to play and grind. It's just not that game. And it's sad because 2K20 was such a good game, but it was the creators that pushed it there, like I said. Yeah. Now, this is where the thing... This, this is where my problem started, okay? This is where everything got really interesting for me because... It was in this little transition period between 2K20 and 2K21. A few months ago, about four months ago, just when I stopped uploading, I got offered, I got offered 1.2 million US dollars, okay? I got offered 1.2 million US dollars by a rival company to Twitch to stream exclusively on their platform and to grind on their platform. <sighs> this is where the, the, it gets complex. And it gets really kind of serious because personally, if you watch a lot of dudes, yeah, right now you got some, like, Aiden's pulling crazy views and you got a lot of people kind of doing a great job, but Twitch is taking hits. Twitch is taking hits. Twitch has a very unique game flow for communities where people, they create this, they can create their own community set for them in their game, in their game frame, where they're playing Minecraft. Uh, whether they're playing 2K, whether they're playing Madden, you know, all this, like, everyone has a particular community, and sometimes, some communities kind of mix in, you know, from the GTA guys to Call of Duty, all that stuff, so Twitch is kind of like, right now, it's kind of weird with Twitch, where a lot of people kind of bounce, and, like, they don't really mess with Twitch, they rather just do the YouTube, but then it's like, how do you find a good balance? <clears throat> now, starting something off from the scratch is tough, but a, a deal coming with 1.2, that's tough to give away. 1.2? As a dad, if that was, if Ticino's my son, and he comes to me and says, listen, they, they want to offer me 1.2 mil. Now, Ticino's what? Probably 21, 22 right now? No more than 23. I'm going to say this from a dad's point of view. When you're younger, you should always take a risk. When you're younger, it's easy to fix those mistakes. As is if, if you get older in whatever you do in life, whether you're, you know, you're becoming a streamer or you uh, want to be a musician, a rapper or something, anything like that, right? It's harder as you get older. And by a certain age, if you're not making anything out of that or nothing's really coming from it, then you kind of have to put the brakes and you got to pivot. Uh, but from a dad's point of view, like, it's it's tough to kind of say he's right or, or no. I, you know, it's tough. Now, you guys see why I said at the start I was broke in 2017, okay? You guys gotta understand, for someone to go from broke to getting offered over a million US dollars in, in the span of three to four years, that is not something you can process easily, okay? That's something you have to think about, you have to sit down about, you have to be like, what the fuck am I seeing? What am I doing? And um, it wasn't easy, okay? I had to I had to sit down, I had to think, I had to be like, okay, 2K20, it was lit. I was on a path to like big things in gaming, okay? I'm not gonna lie. 2K20 was big. But 2K21 comes out, it dies down a bit. I get offered 1.2 million. Now what, like, what do I do? 
do, do I just take that short term 1.2 mil, grind on a platform that I'm obviously not going to be able, as litters on Twitch, like Twitch is the litter streaming platform out and there's no buying that. No one can deny that, I don't care what platform you stream for, right now Twitch is the litter streaming platform out. And um, you should... No, it's not. It's really not. I mean, like, again, it's about the community that you built. He has a community that you already built. So you're talking about baby streamers, new streamers, guys like me, like, no. Unless you got some clout, you got some type of connection, you got a network, it's not. Now, he has something set up, but then again, it's Ticino. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. Where a lot of people don't even Twitch, they don't even stream on Twitch. They'd rather just do it on YouTube. I don't know. You know, but he's also been very successful in what he's doing with subs and all that. 1.2 mil, unless you can kind of finagle the contract where you're getting, let's say, that's 1.2. And then you have offers to do, you get certain advertisements and things for yourself. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot more you can do on top of that 1.2. Because he could definitely pull 1.2. If he's grinding crazy on, on Twitch anyway. But. Yeah. Just like, wait, wait, to leave that for 1.2 million, I had to think about it. I'm not going to lie to you. It, was, it wasn't easy. It was a tough decision. And um, I had to think about my mom and my family too, okay? Like, I, I, I'm with a single mom, okay? My dad left us a long time ago. He left my mom with a lot of debt. That's all cleared now. But it wasn't easy at times. And just the fact that I have four... Four years later, I have a $1.2 million contract offer. <sighs> I really had to sit down and think about it. That's all I'm going to say, okay? So there's two things I can do here. I can take the short-term 1.2 mil and risk losing a lot of my viewership, or I can play the long game with Twitch and stay on Twitch. Now, this is the way I see it, okay? You think of a guy like Aiden Ross. Imagine him. You guys know that he's my boy, by the way. He's an amazing person behind the scenes, just so you guys know. I know Aiden's like in LA now doing all that crazy stuff but from what I know from my DMs with him he's always been really humble and really cool to me um, shout out to him think of a guy like Aiden okay if he stayed on 2k number one let's be real now he'd only be he'd only be making like 10k viewers okay if he stayed on 2k that game has a ceiling that is impossible to break I don't care how funny entertaining or talented you are 2k has a ceiling it's like COD used to have COD used to have a ceiling before Warzone came out and that ceiling got broken okay but right now, 2K has a ceiling, and nobody is breaking that ceiling because there is a limit to how many viewers you can get on 2K. 2K20, we pushed that ceiling to the absolute fucking limit, but it's back again because 2K21 is pretty ass. Now, <laughs> think of a guy like Aiden. If he stopped and took $1.2 million, like 2K was dying now, he took 1.2 mil, he never would have had the blow up that he had because he would have left Twitch and he would have went somewhere else, taking 1.2 mil a year. But Aiden right now is making millions and millions and millions. He's making way more than that. I'm going to be real with you. Okay? I know it's Twitch money, YouTube money. He is making way more than a million dollars a year. Let's be real now. And he would have missed out on every single bit of that if he had taken a sellout offer like that. That's the way I see it, okay? Now, that's just what I mean, okay? Personally, I'm going to say no. Because Aiden, what Aiden's doing... I mean, even on the, another site and you're streaming... You, he's doing, he could do the same shit. He's still doing whatever pranks and... You know, rubbing on dudes, having... I, I mean, he's not even playing a game. Aiden is not even playing a game. If anything, it's more the social media, the the, the, the publisher, and he's really, like, killing it. But he's not... That's what people are... They're going after it. But then Aiden's community is very different. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, he would have had the money, but he never would have blown up like he did. And that comes into the whole thing. Do you take the short-term 1.2 mil... Or do you go long term with Twitch and play this game out? I'm only 24. Okay, you guys got to 24. Okay, young. 24. I've got so many years ahead of me 24. with this, and um, that's what I was thinking about. Okay, you guys think about music careers like rappers and stuff. A lot of them sign these big ass advances on these contracts. They get what 800k, a million, 1.2 mil, 1.5 mil. They will sign these big advances on these contracts because as soon as they start blowing up. Bang, a label's in your air and they're like, yo, we'll offer you 1.5 mil if you sign with us for the next three years and you do this and you make this many albums, all that bullshit. And a lot of artists get fucked over by these labels like that, okay? And it's kind of becoming a thing in gaming. There's a lot of shady gaming deals out there now too. And it's just becoming crazy. Now I'm not that's that's definitely true. Because that's another thing, these guys, you see these rappers, none of them is their money. Whether somebody's watching this or not, like, you see these rappers coming out with all this stuff. It's not their money. 
It's not. It's all advancements stuff, and, and they have to pay it back, and they have to go out. And with the pandemic, they couldn't even tour. So a lot of rappers right now is like. So yeah, it's definitely point. That's one of the things that you need to have a good lawyer. You want somebody to really kind of diving into those contracts. But I feel like he could for, like really kind of do something and maybe do like a or like a switch or like a you know maybe change it up. I mean, one point two official. You could you could take uh four hundred not even four hundred k two hundred k of that, and put that in a, a like a very safe portfolio, and that will double up in the next two three years, easy, maybe even more. Now due to interest rates and things like that, that's in the banking financial industry system and industry, um, you want to be a little bit safe, but you could take two hundred k. And put it somewhere in, in safe in safe investments. You don't have to go volatile where, you know, you can hit high or you can hit short, hit small, or you lose it all. Like, whatever. you don't have to go into stocks or trades, anything like that. There's a lot of safe mutual funds, things like that, uh, even life insurances that actually have cash value. You can make that work. But then again, it's all about his camp. It's about his camp on what they're telling him. You know, oh, 1.2, but, but, you know, in the long term. But also, that 1.2, like, I don't, I don't know if he's going to get to it. Is that going to be, like, his contract for, like, a, like a two-year contract? A three-year contract? Because that's another stipulation, too. If he's saying it's 1.2 mil for, for, let's say, for two years, I'm, I'm taking that deal for two years. Now, if it's 3-4, I don't think so. So, I don't know. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll say that. I'm not saying at all that my deal was shady. It was actually a very fair, open, good offer. I'm here to announce oh, to you guys into that into after thinking about everything, after sitting down, and after four months of just being like, what the fuck do I do? By the way, I also had a good break during these four months. I don't want you guys to think that I was just out here shitting the whole time. You're okay, resting, boy. You were uh, resting. It was good for me as a, as a content creator. You guys know burnout and all that. He's but hanging out with Angel Melly. After four months, I have decided <laughs> that I am going to stay on Twitch. Okay, I've talked to Twitch and they are really keen to keep me on. They want to offer me a custom sort of contract that I can't really talk about, but it is, it's good. Okay, it's good. So, your boy is going to be back and staying on Twitch. I'm starting again. See, this is where, this is where if you get a deal from someone and, and even, I'm going to put this in real life situation. Uh, I, I'm going to put in my perspective, I work at Chase. I don't work at Chase, but I'm just saying. I work at Chase. I'm a, I'm a, man, a branch manager. I make a certain dollar amount. Is this the I sent you? Not yet, mommy. And let's say, for instance, I go and I put my resume to, let's say, Apple Bank. And they give me an opportunity, a contract, or basically my salary is going to be, let's say, 200 k I could bring that back to Chase and say, hey, they offer me 200 k This is what's, what they're offering. What can you do for me? You know, can you meet me halfway? Because I don't really want to go to Apple Bank. I'll stay at Chase. You know what I mean? There's certain things that, hey, and they'll give them a little bit more and say, hey, you know what? We want to keep you. Message. So, that's actually, that's kind of probably what he kind of did. Again, early May. So, this month, I'm starting again sometime early May. I haven't decided exactly my start date yet. I kind of want to set something big up for the first few days. Um, the blockbuster wages are going to return. Okay? I'm on 2K for now, but... Just hear this, okay? Oh, oh, uh, shit, the lights just went off. Yo, hold on, guys. I need to, I need to, like, walk around to turn the lights back on. Wait, that's what's going on there. Like, where the fuck was he? Is he in his fucking garage? <laughs> it's all perfectly white. Like, that garage looks clean, though. Ain't no mess in there. Ain't no mess in the garage. Alright, we back, we back. So, uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so long story short, your boy is returning to Twitch this month. I'm really fucking excited. It's gonna be amazing. I uh, was starting on 2K, but let this be known, okay? If 2K22 is a bad game, if 2K22 just isn't cutting it for me, I'm like, I'm getting sick of this. I am not gonna keep spending my years trying to push 2K to this crazy ceiling that it shouldn't even be at, okay? I'm not gonna keep trying, and I'm just gonna start doing vlogs, pranks, whatever. I really just wanna expand at this point, because I'm just getting sick of That's not your... That's not your forte, though. 
he should Tysino is a gamer. He's got a game. Like if he does the stuff with like Aiden, it's. I feel like that's gonna be the wrong road. He's too skilled to say you know effort. There's a lot of ways to be creative on 2K. You don't have to give up on it, but this whole thing where it's like, if 2K is a bad game, I'm limited, and it just gives me headaches in it, man. It's just gonna be like, what the hell am I doing, man? But for now, at least you guys know that the blockbuster wages are gonna return. We're gonna do crazy stuff. I know there's a lot of guys who wanna wager me. Fun fact, Aiden actually wanted to do a rematch with Bronny. Uh, obviously, he's like doing this whole rapper interview thing now, which is blowing up, but I'm sure he'll still be down, whether it's later on down the line or whenever. But uh, other than that, we are gonna set up a big blockbuster wager for the comeback. Follow me on Twitter, at The Real Ticino, and I will let you guys know what that blockbuster wager is gonna be, okay? Early May, we're gonna set something up, okay? It's gonna be big. Now, just from me to you guys, I love y'all. I'm glad that I can be back on Twitch. I made my decision. I don't want to sell out in the short term, take the money and go. I'd rather just sit here with you guys, grind it out long term. And you know what? Money aside, the amount of fun I have doing this, the amount of enjoyment I get just talking to you guys, hanging out with you guys, making YouTube videos, making this my career, in a way that is more valuable than money ever will be in a sense. Okay, so just the fact that I can do this for a career, I'm never going to take that for granted. And, yeah, that's really all I want to say. So, thank you, guys. I love y'all. It's your boy, Tysino. And we are back. In all right, so, Tysino is coming back. I personally, man, if I, like I said, if I was, like, if I was, I mean, I hate that he was, uh, you know, his dad left him. Hopefully, his dad doesn't try to come back and make it all his money. As a dad, I'm going to tell him straight up, like, bro, this is where you make mistakes. Because once you get to 30, 33, 34... <laughs> and you're trying to be a rapper, it's not happening, bro. Like, it's it's at a point. You know, it's once in the blue, you'll get somebody that comes out of nowhere that's older. You know, and he has this, this great opportunity Message. that's happening with him. Um, I hate to see him throw it away. I mean, listen, Twitch is, they made him a good deal, most likely, so he can make some extra additional and probably other stuff. But, um... Like, like I said, if I was his dad, I'm going to say, be real and be like, yo, like, this is the time where you want to make mistakes. So anyone who ever watches this on the replay or in general, or if I upload this, when you're young, it's okay to make mistakes. That's the only way you're going to learn and get better and be smarter and to understand where your path is going to take you because you're not going to know your path, whether you go to college or not. You're not going to know, you're not going to know nothing. Until you start living life and start being out there in the real world. Message. And you're not in that bubble that's in your parents' house. Um, so, we'll see, man. Hopefully it works out for him. Listen, man, it's got to see him come back. I can't wait to see the wagers and everything else because he's, like, he's just phenomenal. Yo, toss me a pick. That. Yo, dig in that. I'm gonna dig in that. I'm gonna dig in that. Fast. Digging that, I'm gon' dig in that. I'm gon' dig in that. Yeah, I'm gon' dig in that. Ass. Yeah. I'm burying you bastards. What motherfucker wanna come and get your ass kicked? Roses on casket.